friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm happy to see you. Hello Julian, hello Cammy, hello Ava, I'm happy to see you. Hello Henry, hello Aiden, hello Leo, I'm happy to see you. Hello Penny, hello Nora, hello Elise, I'm happy to see you. Hello Vienna, hello Sydney, hello Emily, I'm happy to see you. Hello Mason, hello Lorenzo, hello Miss Joey, I'm happy to see you. I'm getting close to the end of the school year here. This is going to be one of my last videos. Um, we're going to go over our calendar, and I think you all know what month it is. It is the month of June. Let's sing our months of the year song. Remember, there are 12 months in the year. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good, and there are seven days in our week. So let's sing our seven days of the week song. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is this day here. We need to figure out what day of the week that is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday and tomorrow is Thursday. Let's figure out what numbers are missing here. Ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, number nine. What comes after number nine? Number ten. You got it. It is Wednesday, June 10th. It's the 10th day of the month. And it is still the season of spring. We have four seasons in the year. And the seasons are winter, spring, summer, and fall. So right now it is spring and summer's coming very soon, a couple more weeks. And our weather today is sunny. We've had um, a lot of sunny days. Awesome. Okay. Let's go over our alphabet cards. You guys have to be experts at this by this point. We've been doing this during every video with Echo. Hello, everyone. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. D dog. Da. C cat c. B bat b. Q queen qu. P pan p. O octopus a. Ah. S snake s. R rat r. X fox x. W wind w. V, van, mm. U, up, up. T, zebra, z. T, top, t. Y, yellow, y. A, apple, a. Ah. M, man, m. Mm. L, lamp, l. K, kike. J, jug, j. N nut n. I itch it. H hat. G game g. F fun f. And E ed f. Good job. I'm going to play our little game again. We need to figure out what letter is missing. Today, I think I'm going to do lowercase letters. Find my marker. 
and what I did with it. Okay, I'll use this one. Ready? Oh, let's pick a letter. How about the letter E? I'm going to write the lowercase letter E. Okay, and I'm going to leave the next letter blank because you're going to think about what letter comes next and in between the two letters that I write. And I'm going to write the letter G. Okay, so what comes after the letter E in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F. Good job. F is the letter that's missing. The letter F. E, F, G. I'll just erase that one. And do another one. How about... Gonna write the letter K, lowercase K. What comes after K? I'm gonna leave that blank. And I'm going to put the next letter in there, the letter M. What letter is between K and M? Say the alphabet. Okay. L. Good job. L. K L M. Good job, everyone. I'm going to do um, a little math problem. Okay, I have some seahorses here. Got a little lopsided. Let me straighten them out. We need our equal sign. All right. Okay. So let's look here and see how many seahorses did Mr. Seahorse have? How many baby seahorses did Mr. Seahorse have? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. He had six seahorses. So I am going to turn the number six over here on our number sentence. So two of his seahorses, two, swam away. How many seahorses are left? He had six. He took away two. Six minus two equals how many are left? One, two, three, four. There are four baby seahorses left. And let's read our number sentence. Six minus two equals four. Good job. I have a story to read today. It's another story about animals that live in the sea. This story, its title is A House for Hermit Crab. This book was written by Eric Carle, and this story is about a little crab who grows out of his shell, and he has to find a new home. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. So this story starts in the beginning of the year in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, February's the next month in the year, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. 
he moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it fit. It felt just right. But it looks so well, so plain, thought the hermit crab. In March, hermit crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain. It needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, hermit crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, hermit crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, hermit crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and ha hard working you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, hermit crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. In September, hermit crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would you, would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, hermit crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said hermit crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered hermit crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, 
Over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon, he would have to find another bigger home, but he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise me to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, a new year has started. Hermit crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, it looked a little plain, but sponges, he thought. <gasps> Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric seals. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. So Hermit Crab is moving on to a new shell and he is going to be making some new friends. He's outgrown his friends and his shell. I have some drawings for you of the characters in the book that we just read. So here is the crab, the uh, excuse me, the shell, right? And here's hermit crab. So hermit crab is going to go into the shell, and I have the sea anemone. We have a printable of all the different sea animals that are in the book. So I'm going to send this home and you can color them and cut them out and you can glue them all to the shell. Let's go over the story. I have some of the pieces cut out already out of construction paper. So remember there was a, a shell, right? And along came Hermit Crab. He had outgrown his old shell, so he was looking for a bigger shell. So he found his bigger shell. But it looked kind of plain. So he met some sea anemones and asked if they would like to go on his shell to decorate it. The sea anemone. What kind of sea creature came next? Do you remember? The sea star. So after he met the sea anemone, he asked a sea star to join him as a friend. After the sea star, the hermit crab saw some coral. And he wanted some coral to decorate his shell. And after he saw some coral, he saw some snails. And he asked if one of the snails would help to keep his shell nice and tidy. And after he met the snails, he saw sea urchins. 
and he thought the sea urchins would protect his shell. So he asked the sea urchin if he would join him. And after the sea urchin, who did they all meet? The lantern fish. And the hermit crab asked the lantern fish if he would light the way. And one of the lantern fish said, yes, I will light the way. And after he met the lantern fish, he saw some smooth pebbles. And he asked if the pebbles would join them. And those are all of Hermit Crab's friends. But then what happened to Hermit Crab? The shell eventually got too small for him again. And he needed to look for a new home. He had grown up a lot during the year from January all the way till December. And along the way, he made some friends that were helping him to take care of his shell. Well, this story reminds me a little bit about your experience this year, right? So when you started school, um, you were a little smaller than you are now, a little younger, but you have grown tremendously over the year. And like hermit crab, you need to move on. And you will be moving on from our weekday family over to the big kids elementary school. And when you move over to your big kids elementary school, you are going to find and make more friends and new friends. And maybe you'll even see some of your old friends. So you guys are really in for a big change yourself. But you have grown and you are ready to move on, just like the hermit crab. And I am going to miss you terribly. And I hope you will come back to weekday and visit next year. Well, that's our video for today, and I will see you on Zoom a little later. I hope you enjoyed Hermit Crab. It's another great Eric Carl book. So I will see you later. So long.